Suspect does remain behind bars here tonight. In the meantime, his younger brother, who's made quite a name for himself in the online gaming world, says that he is joining his family, including his father, who authorities say remains in the hospital recovering from multiple stab wounds. What Yi Hong Pang allegedly did to his parents comes as a shock to his younger brother, Iliang, a League of Legends star known as Double Lift in the online gaming world. He joined Team Liquid last year. In a twit longer post, he wrote, I received some terrible news. My older brother attacked both of my parents with a knife. As a result of this attack, my mom passed away, and my dad was seriously hurt and is now recovering in hospital. I'm still processing this news and joining up with my dad and little brother to make sure they're okay and the proper arrangements are being made. I'll be quiet on social media while I work through this. I hope you all understand and support me as you always have in the past. Authorities say before the attack, the 30-year-old got into a fight with his parents Friday night at their San Juan Capistrano home. The suspect's girlfriend was not injured. The girlfriend of the suspect was either at the home when the incident occurred or may have been there earlier in the evening. Yi Hong's 59-year-old mother, Wei Shen, died at the scene. His father, Gu Zhan, was transported to the hospital. We do expect the father to survive, but he uh, is in the hospital uh, being treated for the wounds he sustained during the attack. Authorities arrested Yi Hong after a short pursuit. The motive still not confirmed. It's something that just doesn't happen around here, uh, and uh, uh, and it's sad to hear about that. That it's with a family. You just kind of hope the rest of the family can, you know, can bring itself together. Team Liquid tweeted, "Our hearts are heavy tonight after this shocking news. We grieve with Double Lift and his family, and we'll do everything we can to support them during this time." Yi Hong Peng is being held on $1 million bail. He's expected to make his first court appearance tomorrow.